talk about them later. But for now, I'm going to talk about home. As many of you might know, I recently moved to a new home. But first, before I get into that move, is this nagging question. What is home? Home. It's a small word, one syllable, four letters, that has so many different meanings. Home is where you sleep. Home is where you live. Home is where you hang your hat. Home is where the heart is. If you lived here, you'd be home now. That was a billboard I used to see on the Long Island Railroad every time I, when I lived in New York. And I, when I took the train to New York City, when we passed Dallas Street Station, there was a billboard up there that says, if you lived here, you'd be home now. And I used to think, who would want to live on a train? <laughs> home. I mean, as a matter of fact, how many definitions of uh, home, any other definitions that I haven't covered? Does anybody have any other ideas of what home is? E.T. E.T. Well, he wanted to phone home, but his home was <laughs> thousands of light years away. But he still had home. So where is his home? I consider the home to be where I live, where my stuff is. That's the key, your stuff. Because I actually had the new apartment for about a week while I still was living in the old apartment. Even though I slept over in the new apartment before any furniture was there, it did not feel like home. Because all my stuff was still in Santa Monica. It was just me and a sleeping bag and the cats waiting for the cable installation in the morning. It wasn't until the furniture came in that made it home. Which kind of comes to Benjamin Franklin, who had said that a house is not a home unless it has food and fire for the body and the mind. That's so true, because once the refrigerator was there, it felt like home. <laughs> now, as far as homes go, I've lived in New York for most of my life. But you know, except for the house that I grew up in, I have not lived in any place for more than three years at a time. Maybe that's an ADD thing. Maybe it's the, the excitement that I need, the change, the new atmosphere, the new lifestyle, the learning new roads, new maps, new territory. I lived in different places. I lived in Long Island, is where I grew up. I moved to Queens. I was there for about a year, for about, well, actually, not a lot less than a year, for the full length of my six month marriage, plus a, plus a table a month. I moved back home. That meant going back with my parents. Another definition of home. And then I moved out from there and moved into an apartment where I lived until the point where I moved to California. Now California is my home. I lived in Los Angeles, West LA, for three years. But the apartment, after three years, I was kind of getting a little bored. There was no swimming pool. I had this vision of living in LA. You have to have a swimming pool in your apartment. It's this apartment, you know, Melrose Place. See all these things on TV. California, LA, you can't be. You can't, it's not home unless you have a swimming pool. So after three years, I moved down moved from West LA to an apartment in Palms. And yes, there was a swimming pool there. And I lived there for about three years, never used the pool once. <laughs> and it was a two-bedroom. I had a lot of things. But I was paying a lot of money. And money started getting tight. So I found a place closer to where I worked. I worked in Santa Monica. It was a one-bedroom. It was a lot cheaper. And I moved in. Now I moved to Santa Monica. This place also has a pool. I haven't used it. <laughs> but it was close to work. And this was the one place that I actually broke the three-year rule. And I was living there for five years. Now, that is the definition of home, where you live. And then I, somebody will eventually ask me this question, usually towards the end of the year. And I get this, another esoteric definition of home. When I ask the question, are you planning on going home for the holidays? Let me think for a second. I live here, I'm, I go home every day. <laughs> So where is this home that you're referring to? Do you mean the place where I grew up? That's New York. I don't know who lives in that house now. Certainly not my parents or any of my family or friends. Most of my friends and family have moved out of New York. They have homes elsewhere. Texas, Florida, Arizona. I, if I went back to New York right now, I'd be looking for a hotel to stay at. That certainly isn't home. What about Florida? That's where my parents are. Well, aren't you going to go see your parents? So that's another definition of home. But I live here. I've never lived in Florida. 
Sure, I'll go visit my parents. I'll stay over when I'm in Florida. I have a place to sleep. It's kind of a lighter version of my stuff, the stuff that I take on the airplane, but still not home. When I go back home, I can't wait to come back home here. <laughs> so let me talk a little bit about the reasons why of my last move, because that was five years. It was after year one that I was living there, the first year living there. I come home from a very, very stressful day, and it's raining in my apartment. Yes, inside. <laughs> there was water leaking from the ceiling. It was, the, it was the hot water, not the return. Not the water. <clears throat> Could have been a lot worse. But it was at a point where I had, there was bulging in the ceiling. I had to take a stick, poke the ceiling so that it could come <laughs> through and fall into a bucket. So the entire ceiling was wet, but I didn't give it much thought. They patched it up, they sent the plumbers in, they fixed it. Nothing got really damaged, just a lot of water damage, a lot of and around like mopping up. But none of my stuff got damaged, fortunately. A year and a half later, the same pipe in a different room had burst. This time it was the bedroom. Again, the hot water pipe. Didn't think anything of it because they fixed it up pretty quickly, past the corner of the ceiling. Emphasis on that corner of the ceiling where the pipes are. A year and a half later, the same pipe burst in the bathroom. So now I have water, Just I turn off the shower, and there's still water dripping down the wall. Where is it coming from? Behind the wall. You'd think this would be enough. But they fixed it. Again, they patched up, well this time it was the whole bathroom, they had to take down most of the walls and ceilings for this one. But I thought everything was okay, but after four years, five years now, things started smelling a little funny. And I was realizing, as I've been fighting mold, every time they get that black mold in the bathroom and every time I scrub it up, it comes back again, and I couldn't get rid of it. Now, where was, but did I decide to move yet? No. Where was the straw that broke the cow's back? That was when I looked up on the ceiling and I saw a mushroom growing out of the ceiling. Oh. It's time to move. Time to get home. <laughs> Timing could not be better. Because that area where the mushroom grew, which I thought was I thought that was my fault, because the water, it's a bathroom, it's dark. You know, when, when the water is when hot water steams and it comes in the ceiling and it stays moist in there, it's a growing ground for for fungi and mold. But no, that's not what it was, because the week, before, the week of my move, or I should say the week before my move, I get up in the early in the morning, go to the bathroom, and I look up at the ceiling right where that mushroom used to grow, and it was bulging. This time it wasn't the hot water pipe. This time, anybody, it was the toilet above leaking. This was crap water. That same day, they fixed the ceiling. They fixed the pipe. But I'm, I'm, I could not be so glad that I already decided to move out. It was already half packed. Because two days later, the rest of the ceiling came tumbling down in the bathroom, and I saw that insulation that was in the ceiling was black with mold from all those other water bursts that they only fixed the pipes in that one little patch. So now I'm living in a place that has air conditioning, clean air. I have a parking spot. I have a dishwasher. So I mentioned the air conditioning. <laughs> the rent is $300 cheaper. And I moved into where I lived previously because it was close to work, and I don't work there anymore. So this was my reboot. So my new home is my reboot to my new location, a new life, free of mold. <laughs> and now it is North Hollywood that I call home. And yes, I will be going home after this meeting. <laughs>